We're going to be working on more advanced design techniques in Silhouette Studio today. Creating your own designs is extremely rewarding, but it also takes a lot of time and effort for each and every design. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create one basic design and modify it so you have several different designs. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette you found your way to Silhouette Success. If you haven't done so yet, I would love it if you join our community. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Now, as always, there is a lot of information in this short video. So if everyone is ready now, let's do this. In Silhouette Studio, you can see my original designs and we are going to learn how to replicate these. They're not going to be exact, but they'll be close. The first thing I did was grab a rounded rectangle to draw the basic shape. After that, I added an ellipse to the top. Check the width. It's 2.547 for the rectangle. You want the ellipse to be the same size. 2.547. Enter. Now we can grab both of these, align the centers, select both of them, right click, and weld them together. We still got some crazy edges. Let's fix that real quick. Zoom in on the editing points. I brought these up by double clicking on the object. Let's zoom in one more time on those. You can see all of these are the problem here. We're going to select the first one, delete, delete, and delete. That's much better. Let's do the other side. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is grab another ellipse. This time I'm going to hold down my shift key while I drag out to create a circle. And I'm going to pop that right on top, align the centers, and weld. Now we have the basic shape. Let's duplicate this to get our top layer going. All I did here was make an internal offset. So we're going to open up the offset panel click on internal offset and I had this set at right around 0 0.160. Select both of those pieces, right click and make a compound path. Now we have the outline, which is the start of our top layer. Let's switch up the color so that we can see the difference between the two when they are layered. Now we need the hole for our tassel, grab an ellipse, Hold down your shift key and drag out. Scale that down a bit. Now we can select the circle and the base, align the center, right click and make a compound path. Now it looks like our top layer has disappeared, but in reality it has just been sent to the back. So we can right click and send this layer to the back and you'll see that our outline is still there. The next thing you want to do is to get this sized properly. I always like to group them together before I do that so that they scale at the same rate. Now when I went through and sized these I made sure that 12 of these would fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock with little to no waste. And by clicking on that you can see that the width is 1.899 so let's select this and type in the width of 1.899 enter and the height on this is 5.881 so let's select this and type in 5.881 enter now this is all set up for us to start designing the centers Anytime you're working with a project like this, you want to have a duplicate copy set over to the side. The first one says B mine. Head over to the textile panel and I know that this font is star bright, so I will start typing that in the top and then click enter. Now I'm going to open up my transform panel and flip this to a 90 degree angle. So let's open up our rotate tab and flip that. We need to get B mine scaled down so that it fits nicely in there. When this is scaled down so that the height fits, the width is still too much. So we can kind of squish this.
That looks good. Select both of those, right click, and weld. Let's set this back upright. We can select both of our layers, click on our center button, right click, and group. The first one is done. Go ahead and duplicate for our next one. For this one, I used my Flexi Shapes. If you are interested in using Flexi Shapes, you're going to need to upgrade your software to Designer Plus or higher. Once you draw out a Flexi Shape, you want to right click and convert to path. After that, it's just a matter of scaling and placing and duplicating. Select all of them, right click and weld. Center these, right click and group. For this one, I used a heart as well. And I created an offset. Select both, make a compound path. I duplicated for a total of four hearts and then just got to setting them in place. Select all of the hearts, right click and weld. Check that everything is overlapping and weld. For this one, I typed out the word RAR, so let's grab our cursor. And I'm just going to leave it in Arial font and squish it. Select both, align the center, right click, and weld. I got this little dinosaur guy from Creative Fabrica, so we are going to bring him in in just a minute, but I want to move these out of the way first. Let's do File and Merge and bring in our picture. When I'm working on projects like this, I try to find outlines and just simple black and white images that are going to trace well. And I found that if you search up coloring pages, you have pretty good luck with images like this on Creative Fabrica. Let's trace, get rid of the original, fill this guy in with black and these lines are a little bit thin. I'm going to thicken them up with an offset of 0 0.02. Click on apply. You can delete that one, fill this one in with black. The puppy dog, I did the same way. I'll be using Outright Bold for this. For this one, I simply scaled B up quite large until it was overlapping both of the edges. Then I took mine and just squished it in. I'm going to take each one of these and convert it to a path. And that is because I want to be able to center all of this perfectly. If it's still in text boxes, it's going to be off just a bit. 
Now I can select all three of those pieces and align the center. Then I can right click and weld. Center these two, right click and group. I think that these bookmarks are absolutely adorable. I used cardstock in HTV along with my hand press to get the job done. You can use cardstock for the decorative layer as well if that's what you prefer. If you've created your own bookmarks, you should definitely head over to the Book of Faces, join the Silhouette Success Group if you haven't yet. Show off your projects, ask all the questions, and just have conversations with like-minded crafters. Now go create something amazing and I will see you in the next video.